today we have a very special guest, Man of Steel. Who is Man of Steel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm the Man of Steel. Yeah. The Man of Steel is a character of me. It's about who I am in person. Who I become in the artist and the rapper being all together mash up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody keeps saying that it's like Superman. It's not Superman. I want to go out there and represent who I am. Playing music is like you're living in heaven, like you're in heaven, like you got music that you really love, that you got passion about. And sometimes that will connect to your people that you care about, that you love about, and you have your own kids and you love them and you just do what you need to do to be a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. I'm the man still. Yep. When did you first start making music? When I first started, when I was like 10 years old, because my brother, I have a brother that he connects with different artists, like rappers. Uh, he produced me to Bill Jordan. I went to the studio, I did recording with him and make some music. And the first time I released my own album, that's the first time that I never heard anybody say, we're going to have a party for your first release, mixtape. Mm. I'm the man still. Yeah. And the thing is that, uh, you know me, I love my dad, I love my brother, I love my family. You know me, I care what they do, but sometimes I'm not perfect. I'm not always going to be a perfect person, you know what I mean? I made a mistake in life all the time, but I go for it. I'm recording this music, I'm a freestyle, this is what I do. I, I have one guy that joined me on my album. His name is DJ Romat. He wrote a song for me, and he produced the music for me. Mm. This West Coast music got me feeling like the man. Work hard. Always work hard. Never give up. Show people you care about them. Show them love. Show them passion. Show them love. Show them passion. You know me? Yeah. Too. I did my first show. It's amazing, man. Because you know, man, like, People always want to see you as an artist, but when you go out there, you can't be a, a normal person. I want to be an artist. I want to be a rapper. I want to go out there, too, and represent who I am. You mm. know me? Yeah. True. But the only thing is, people are not going to know who I am. I was born in Bellevue. Mm. And the alcohol, alcohol syndrome inside me. Mm. Fetal it's alcohol not, syndrome? Yes. It means if your mom is pregnant with you and she does drugs when you're in her belly, that means alcohol syndrome. Wow. Because if what? you drink alcohol while you're pregnant, that alcohol can go into your brain and it can create not good things. I have challenges in my life. People know what I've been through, but I'm not mad at my mom. She made poor decisions. 
and she can't take that back. But I'm I'm doing good, man. My life is good, man. I'm the man still. Yep. It's really hard because I don't understand why mothers would do something like that to their child when you know you're not supposed to do that when you're pregnant. Yeah. I asked myself, I go in my room so many times, ask myself, why did my mom do this to me? And mm-hmm. God told me that you just need to forgive your mom. And he said, if you don't forgive her, it's time she died, then you're not, yeah. you're going to mess out. So I forgave my mom, I forgave my dad, because, you know, those two are my parents that I really love. And they're close to me. And my brother is close to me, too, because he was the first one that was born. For me, I was such a... I'm the man still. Yep. Three things you need to know about me. I'm not a mean guy. I am not no bad person. Just because I made a bad mistake in my whole life, it doesn't make me a bad person. Two... My real girlfriend, she passed away when she, when she had the seizure. Seizure killed her. Oh, wow. I don't have a girlfriend anymore. So, three is you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you. If you want to help me, you go ahead and help me. Because I am a free dude. Not me. Yeah. Two. The camera is like zoomed up real close. Yeah. There's your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna change the subject here. What are three things that you learned from freestyle rapping? When I do my freestyle rapping, man, everybody tells me I need to start writing down my words. Freestyle, I've been rapping. I've been rapping about my life. I tell stories. When I freestyle, you're going to know that I'm really good at freestyle. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. I'm the man still. Yep. What does freestyle feel like to you? Motion, confident, telling stories about my life, how I've been coming up a real good man, uh, and God. What is the secret to becoming a famous rapper? <laughs> Connection. 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 Connection with people, not me. Yeah. Two. Who are some people that that you've connected with? John Hargis, Lonnie Perrin, DJ Bomat. Those are the people that have been helping me out. Tell them thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's a double thank you coming their way right now. You're trying to put together a show, right? A concert? Yes. What do you need help with right now? Find a place that I can do my show at. (laughs) It's okay. Yeah. It was a pleasure talking with you, Man of Steel. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think people are going to love this interview. I want to say thank you, man, for watching this. And have a good day, man. Listen to the Man of Steel mixtape. And I'll put the link to it. Maybe like right over here. Man of Steel. Making his dreams come true. And so can you. You can find links to Man of Steel's SoundCloud and Instagram and Facebook and all that into the description of this video. If you have a question for Man of Steel, leave it in the comments.
And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Signing off. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>